for a lot of you that are going to be seeing it here in the next few weeks, you'll know what you're looking at. Happy Friday to all of you guys. So a few days ago, I made a Facebook post with a link to all of the snake species that we have here in southeastern Tennessee. Actually, it contained all the snake species that we encounter in Tennessee as a whole. But you can also see all of the species, once again, that we do have here locally in southeast Tennessee. Probably within the last two weeks, I have had at least half a dozen people text me pictures asking me, Tanner, what kind of snake is this? And they've been texting my wife, Stacy. Stacy, ask Tanner what kind of snake this is. And guys, for all the species that we encounter here, the one name that I can never seem to remember is the Decay's Brown Snake. That's D-E-K-A-Y apostrophe S Brown Snake. And my father-in-law, William Austin, just texted me as I was in there working on a new pond design for one of my friends, and he said, Tanner, there's a snake outside. Well, it just so happens to be one of the Decay's Brown Snakes. And I can flip the camera around real quick and go over a few little um, characteristics of this snake so that for a lot of you that are going to be seeing it here in the next few weeks, you'll know what you're looking at. First and foremost, guys, you can see how small this snake actually is. These things are tiny, and I don't think that I've ever encountered one that actually struck at me. That's not saying that you won't get bit if you try to capture one at your house, but it couldn't do much damage to you if it did. This is basically as bad as harmful as picking up a common earthworm. If you'll notice the belly pattern on this snake, you'll see a quick lack thereof. Look at how smooth and patternless that belly actually is. Now, if you'll look at the head pattern on this snake, you'll see that light tannish gray color with some of those jagged brown lines going all the way down its back. And once it gets right down here past about the midways point, you'll notice this pattern becomes basically uh, kind of streamless, guys. It just really doesn't have any pattern at all. Just kind of see the basic coloration that it has on up here. So you'll see those jagged, dark brown lines, once again, turning into speckles about there, and then kind of going down the back side of this snake. I thought he was going to strike there for a moment. So once again, guys, if you live anywhere near Cleveland or Chattanooga, Tennessee, chances are if you see any tiny snakes outside in your lawn right now you may be seeing this guy right here and if he would be still i would try to give you a better shot here so once again guys if you encounter that snake right there just know the name of it is decay's brown snake appreciate you all tuning in hope you all learned something and we'll talk to all of you inside that next video